pre-warning before you watch the raw view. Bitch, I had to stop mid-wash. Girl, when I tell you this raw view is bootleg. <laughs> now, like I said, I wasn't going to be watching the whole, I was gonna skip through the show because one, I was tired, it was late. Two, like I said, people, people didn't tip that much. So I was like, I wanna give them what they gave me. <laughs> But the pettiness backfired because, oh, this, sorry. <laughs> the pettiness backfired because I recorded more things that y'all see that that y'all don't see. For some reason, I guess because I kind of skipped through the show a little bit in recording from my laptop, somehow I'm missing parts in my camera. It's weird. I don't know. But I wanted to talk about. Like I mean, but honestly, it was like a couple of things that I missed the day. Um, I wanted to talk about like you know the whole Victoria thing when people were when Crystal you know called her big you know out of a joke, just being shady, and everybody was like in the room like oh, oh my god that's so mean and it's like wait now why like are we being extra cautious because of who she is what she is I'm like don't we read each other all the time like isn't that what we do in drag. And then if it was a reading challenge, would it have been a difference? Would y'all have still been mad about it? I thought that was very extra. Um, also, <laughs> I don't know if y'all noticed, but Ru RuPaul kept making these like, the, you know, that she, Ru every now and then Ru RuPaul makes this cringe face where she's kind of, you can tell she's cringe. She kept doing that a lot this episode and Michelle did it too. I don't know if y'all noticed that, but they kept showing RuPaul do this cringe face. <laughs> And as far as the maxi challenge where they had to do that workout thing, I kind of skipped past that because I watched it, but I ain't gonna lie. A lot of that was so cringe that I couldn't even get through it. I couldn't get through it. I couldn't. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to say those few things and um, I apologize for the video not being the best, but I did what I could do at what time it was, so. I'll see you guys in the next Raw View. Thank you so much. This video is not for the sensitive hoes. The ones who can't take anyone else's opinions except for their own. If you can't have a mature conversation, then darling, this video is not for you. You will be blocked immediately. Now remember to keep it cute. Keep it mute. Or get the boot. Now preparing to nanny port to Nina's raw view. In 3, A2, A1. Can you please be on All Stars 5? Please? Hell no, I ain't doing no goddamn All Stars 5. Nina, you're on. Okay, oh, hey, I'm Nina, but Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> okay, Nina, maybe this time have a little bit more. Got gotcha, you, got you, got you, got you, got you. I got you. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. All right. Renita Brown, take two. <clears throat> Action. I'm Nina, Bonita Brown, and you are now watching the Disney Channel. Nina Channel. The Oops. Nina Channel. <laughs> I'm Nina, Bonita Brown, and you are now watching the Nina Channel. <laughs> I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you uh, are now- Hold on, Nina. Uh, we've got an audio issue. What? Fish and chips, one second. We're just fixing it. Tea and crumpets. God. Sorry, Nina. Uh, oh, oh, I'm hold, Nina, Bo Hold on. This British nigga got one more time. You know what? I need a break. God damn chicken shit gigs. The other girls doing work the world tour. I didn't get the role for DC Comics. And here I am doing these damn bootleg Disney skits. The fuck? Uh, Rita Brown, back to set, please. I'm coming, goddammit. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> yep. I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. We need just, um, just a little bit more energy. Nina. Okay. <laughs> okay, one more time. <clears throat> I'm Nina, Bonina, Banana, Fofana, Osama, Bin Laden, Michael Jordan, Jordan Peele, the oldest Maya Angelou Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> uh, hold, on, hold on, Nina, we've just got... A, oh, oh. One last time, this is it. I'm tired. 
I'm Nina, Bro Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina Channel. <laughs> Do I have to smile? <laughs> oh, we're done with you, Nina. Fish and chips. It was a stormy night. You know the can where the lightning strikes. Fall is here. Hey guys, it's me, Nina. Bonina, banana, for fan of Osama bin Laden. Fall leaves brown and welcome back to an all new raw view. How are you guys doing? Good to see you guys again. Y'all know how we do here. We come here to have fun, review the show, and just have a good time. So if you can't do that, you can't value other people's opinions, you will be blocked and chopped and that's all to it. So just come here and be mature about things. But yes guys, welcome back to my channel guys. So this is like, I've been wanting to do a tree look for the longest, like for the longest time. I just never got to it, didn't know the route I wanted to go with it. And then what refreshed it in my mind was my friend Cam, he's playing a game called Hades and they have a character named Yuri Dice. I think I'm saying that right, probably not. But um, she looks sickening, sickening, sickening. So I was like, it kind of looked like what I've been wanting to do. So I kind of just infused what I've been wanting to do with her, added my own little twist to it. Let's see. <laughs> I was gonna have like branches and all that, but it was too much. And like, y'all, it's like one in the morning and I have to get up early in the morning to get my hair done. So I apologize for a shorter raw view, but I'm still gonna be yapping and gapping and talking about things going on in life. Y'all know how I do, honey. This is where, look, somebody said, can you separate the news and stuff from the raw view? And the simple answer is no. Why, you want me to separate it so you can just ignore any of the videos but only watch my Drag Race content? No, sweetie. You're gonna suffer through all of this. And if you don't wanna suffer through it, you got two choices either skip till you find the raw view part or watch something else, watch somebody else's video. The nerve, the audacity, the gumption. <laughs> yes, honey, we're gonna be speaking. With that said, let's go into some weird. 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 Moments with Nina, Bonina Brown. Have you ever went to the zoo to enjoy the animals and what they're doing? And you go to see the gorillas and you see this? Ah, oh, daddy, look, they like the little monkeys. <laughs> they're just like the black people you told me about. Now, now, Susie, didn't I say we can only be racist at home? <laughs> Susie, close your eyes. Close your eyes, Susie. <laughs> you don't need to see this. This is how me and your mother got you. <laughs> that male monkey does have a nice arch, though. Nom, 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 Girl, he was eating the coochie like banana pudding. <laughs> Just nasty. And that has been weird moments with Nina Bonina Brown. So a little while back, I did like this little fun kind of post where it was like, I did a post of like, all stars canceled queens. Like my version of like, what would be the all stars canceled queens. On my canceled list, it's gonna be RuPaul herself because she is considered a canceled queen. She's been canceled. Elliot with two T's was on there. The Vixen, 
um, what's her name? Tamisha Iman, because there people were canceling her after her whole web web website stuff and her coming for a while. Then we have what is this bitch name with the hawk nose? Girl, I can't even think of her name. She's canceled. Willem. Then we got Tyra or James. Then we got Robbie Turner. He's canceled, right? Me, of course. Widow Von Du. People canceled her because of her defending herself in her home. I put Sherry Pie on here. I mean, look, look. First off, anybody who about to be crying, this is not even a real list. And if you want to be fair, she was canceled, so I mean, it only makes sense. But we can replace her with Pearl. Because I forgot Pearl is canceled by RuPaul and them. And so do. <laughs> no shade, no tea, but this would literally be good TV. It just would be. Like, all the people that people think are canceled would make good TV. I'm telling you. What do you guys think? Now, I want to go into some comments. Now, just reading people's comments. So, if they say things, don't take it out on me. I'm just reading comments. And some comments I agree with. Sue me. The look on Victoria's face when the girls in Rue praise her for breaking barriers. No smile and no tears of I, of I have overcome barriers. You can fool the fans, but her body betrays her. She knows the praise is unwarranted. She knows it's all BS. That's how I was feeling kind of when RuPaul was doing all her shenanigans that she does for anybody that she's been allegedly canceled for not having on the show. She does all this extra laughing and kiki and kaka and you're so great and you're breaking barriers. You know, she has to prove something. Um, which is sad because like RuPaul, you don't have to do all that. Just just, just be you. Um, anyway. Got Mick being a trans man introduced to the world and franchise to trans men smiles and tears. Land Insider introduced drag kings to the Dragula franchise in the world smiles and tears. Victoria is a funny white British female on the BBC where they have had funny white high camp females performing for almost 80 years. She has not opened the door for other white camp females at the BBC as the door is already open. Can women do drag? Yes. Do women like Victoria need the franchise to launch a career? Nope. As they have so many avenues as doors open already. I agree. Fight me. I mean, it's the truth. It's like, it's good she's on there. But these females, cis females, like white females of that, they already have so many more opportunities than just what we would have as gay men. Especially if you're black and gay. Like, it's just the truth. Like, drag is a place for, that we created so we can have and feel like we belong to something and can feel sickening. And it's just like, we, a lot of us can't go out there and get certain jobs or certain, or certain opportunities because of our skin tone and because of who we are. So I get what you're saying. Charlie High's appearance was more monumental as she is the only queen in all the franchise to be over 50 years old. I called it that Victoria seems honest and therefore she will have some guilt by going on the show and following the overcoming a barrier narrative. Speaking of Charlie, I miss Charlie. Like why, like people give Charlie such a hard time, but Charlie is so talented. Like Charlie should have been like a guest judge or something on, on Drag Race UK. Like don't let her run on season nine fool y'all. She's really talented. But thank you for your comment. So this is like when I was talking about the whole Little Mermaid and Disney and Snow White and all the remakes. <laughs> Somebody said, why the hell is Billy Porter, who was great in Pose, playing Cinderella as a fairy godmother looking like a man in a dress? <laughs> Talk about trying to be politically correct, while at the same time confusing little kids when the noun specifically says godmother, not godfather. If he was going to play a godmother, then they should have beat his face here in the whole nine yards, etc. It's getting ridiculous and downright a slap in the audience's face as they walk out of a $15 movie theater, very disappointed. As the movie industry actors, directors, and producers, blah, 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 laugh at us while they walk to the banks with our money. So I, was, I mentioned that whole um, Cinderella movie that came out on Amazon that had Billy Porter. Looks fabulous. He looks great. But I said the same thing. Why couldn't they just say Godfather? 
you weren't giving any kind of godmother illusion beside the dress. But it's like you could have just been cool and been a hip godfather. I mean, we already know the queen godmother, god, god, godmother is Whitney Houston playing in her, her role in Cinderella. So yeah, they could have just been a godfather. Nina, that fan gave me a headache. Well, sweetie, take some Tylenol. I'm not stopping my fan because your head hurts. I agree with you, Nina. I hate all these changes they are making. The authenticity of everything from books to movies are gone. History is being changed right before our eyes. That's really ha what's been happening with a lot of things. I feel like history really is changing right in front of our eyes. For the, for the Some for the bad, maybe some for the good. But things really are changing right, right before our eyes. Somebody said, I wonder if they're going to switch up the pit crew because of Victoria. It wouldn't be fair to have only guys when she's a lesbian. And if they do, are people going to be mad that a woman are being objectified? That is a good point. <laughs> See, when you do these things, then you have to like consider everything. How many people do you think you blocked? Rough estimate, please. I'm curious. Girl, that's a good question. I feel like I probably would have had a million followers on Instagram, but I blocked half a million. I think I have. And YouTube, probably the same. <laughs> my block finger is strong, honey. Oh, from my last look when I did the Where the Cool People At. I can't handle how Naomi Campbell's imitation of Pierre's voice is so accurate. <laughs> She's my auntie in my head. Every season, someone does paper molding and they're a trailblazer, but fail to say Nina was like the first on RPDR to do it. The cheat, the nerve, the gal, the gumption, the audacity. I also love how they mentioned the people of color, queens, and never mentioned Nina, Milan, or a few others. Girl, I'm used to it by now. You know, leave, leave it to them or anybody out there, girl. I it was nothing new or fresh on Drag Race. <laughs> but you know. Now I'm going to the tips. The girls didn't really tip that much this time, which is why I'm also doing a shorter raw view. <laughs> But, um, thank you, Paul Strangeland. Thank you, love. Thank you, Tony Bischoff. Thank you, Giovanni Martinez. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tony. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Carlos Alva. Thank you, Tracy S. As always. Thank you, Steve Romero. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jojo, for that big tip. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you, Kat, for the big tip as well. Thank you so much for looking out for me, girl. Thank you, Sasha Dykeman. She gonna be in the dike again. <laughs> Thank you, Sam Grizzlock. Grizzlock. Thank you. Thank you, Helen Lopez. Thank you, Carolyn McDonald. And that was all the tips. If you like the tip, the Cash App, Venmo, and all that stuff will be in the description box below. Before we start the show, I told the girls when I was at Walmart, I will try this while I'm on cam. Girl. Biggie Smalls Wrap Snacks, Honey Jalapeno. First off, how do y'all even know that Biggie Smalls likes jalapeno and honey? Well, then again, he was big. He probably liked everything. Let's try it. Okay. Either I'm just hungry, which I am, or these are actually good. They taste like, it's either that brand Tom's, and Tom's has like barbecue chips and like that. That's what it tastes like to me. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna be eating this and watching. Let's get to it. I will get that Rupita badge. I'm jealous. How she pulled that prosthetic off so easily? I could never. <laughs> Which queen gets the star by? Who is your biggest competition? Thanks. Ah! I wonder what makes I wonder what makes Crystal think that Victoria is his biggest competition. Is it because she's a female, so he's like, well, she gonna make it far because they gotta keep her there, or is it because I guess she's known in the UK? Totally irrelevant. What kind of mean competition? Look for who 
Who's the most irrelevant queen? <laughs> I can't. You name Victoria Scone your star by your biggest competition. Why your competition just big? Oh, just the big. <laughs> <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> well, it's now October 1st. Happy October, guys. It's time for Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. Oh, look at Elle and Ty. My barber hooked the back of my head up. Yes. It's been Beauty and Looks with Nina Bonina Brown. <laughs> Raven and RuPaul must have had a fight that day. I'm not really buying this and this for some reason this dress or the cut of it is making her look really broad in the shoulders today like a lot and the makeup is okay I mean I'm not gonna buy or rent this look see come on crystal come on give me the illusion give me give me drag give it to me like it's okay every now and then if you want to do something androgynous and not have no breast on and do your thing but give me the illusion. Give me drag, baby. I'm buying this. Yes, ma'am. River Medway. River? I don't even know her. <laughs> Consider the show. Okay, I think River looks cute. I'm actually gonna buy River's look. It's cute. Veronica Green. Kylie Minogue. Who? <laughs> I'm giving... I actually rent Veronica's look. It's not horrible. It's okay. The wig is a little questionable, but I'm gonna rent it. Crystal Versace, congratulations. You are the winner of this week's challenge. So Crystal is the winner of the whole challenge. So, okay. I think the runway also helps too. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Vanity's already given me what it needs to give. Metro's good, she does, but she just, she's always so overly energetic. It's, it's always so fast. <laughs> okay, Electra. <laughs> Girl, you better shake that cheap plastic wig loose, okay? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bitch, I thought Heidi was the only break dancer. Okay. <laughs> what kind of knock need split? <laughs> Tim Malone. Shantae you stay. Well, Vanity One, I mean, I agree. Like, it's not, you, you, sometimes you have to just know how to have control and know that you can hold back some things. You don't have to always go a thousand mile all the time. Smash the world in peace. Yes! Well, congrats on your run, Electra, for getting on the show at least. I'm sure you'll be okay in doing bookings in the future. So congratulations. As for everybody else, thank you guys for coming around. And as always, remember to stay beat, stay beautiful. Most importantly, stay blessed. Kimacho or Kimochi. And depending on what the doctors say, we'll decide whether or not it's safe for you to continue in this competition. Girl, I thought I was going to bed. Girl, RuPaul said, no ma'am.
this happened to Eureka and stuff, and this time I am not about to be liable for nothing. So, sweetie, go to the doctor. Girl. I want you healthy. Because. Okay, bye for real. <laughs> I'm so white and confused. Where is the manager? Where is FUBU?